Hi, I'm Erin. I'm a designer based here in Los Angeles, and this is my 1920s Tudor home in West Hollywood. I love the historical charm of our home. It was originally designed by famous architect Paul Williams in the 1920s. When we moved here, I wanted to bring my own special brand of organic modern to the home and to create a great indoor-outdoor flow. So as a designer, I always feel the living room is the place to make your statement. And I really wanted this room to be about bringing the outdoors in. The room has amazing natural light because it's surrounded by glass. We have a beautiful bay window and a pair of French doors that leads to our outside. With that in mind, I chose this really beautiful green velvet sectional. And I love it because it has a little bit of gold accents through the feet. And I think that that brings a nice little touch of glam in contrast to the more earthy wood tones that I have with a pair of stools here and the console table behind the sofa. Behind me is the playroom, which is probably my most favorite room in the house. It's super cozy and whimsical. I love the teepee and the little boy's chair there. And we spend a lot of time as a family together in that room. So my family loves to hang out together in the kitchen. We decided instead of doing a breakfast nook that made more sense for our family to do a seating area. Some might say a white sectional in a kitchen with two young children was a bold and daring choice, but I used a fabric called mud cloth, which is really durable. And I'm just so happy that it's white because it just adds to the overall light, bright, airy feel that I'm going for throughout the house. I love these glass globe light fixtures and the rest of the fixtures and finishes in the kitchen have kind of a classic country feel meets old Hollywood chic. So I love having an all white bedroom. Because I'm a designer, I'm looking at pattern, texture, and color all day long. So when I go to sleep, I need to let my eyes rest. But the secret to doing an all white room is to bring in interest and depth through different textures. So I love this Moroccan inspired shag carpet on the floor. I brought in textures like this mud cloth against the percal sheets, linen on the Roman shades, and headboard. And then it's fun to bring in whimsical details. I love our little felt elephant and giraffe and my son loves to jump on them when he comes in in the morning. And since this room is surrounded by windows and treetops, I feel like it's my little glam tree house. So speaking of trees, let's go outside. So here we are in the outdoor space of our home. We always hang out here. This is where we do all our entertaining have dinners, hang out, we have a barbecue, and of course we have our swimming pool, which we're so lucky, we always keep heated. It's a lovely saltwater pool, and this is just our place to hang out. I find the design process for doing interiors very similar to doing fashion. You have to start with a concept and then there's a whole creative process you have to go through to see it through to the end. But what I particularly love about interior design is that once you've created a space, it really gets to take on a life of its own. So thank you for coming to see my home and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. How about love? Share these homes, you know?